Hello and welcome, I'm Ken Gowdy from Sax Comprehensive and in this video we will review the Balam neck strap. The Balam neck strap is similar to a regular neck strap in the sense that you put it on exactly the same way. You place it over your head and rest it around your neck. The difference is that when you put on a regular neck strap, the weight of the saxophone will actually pull down on the neck strap, which will actually give you stress on the back of your neck. The way the Belam neck strap is designed, you have these two shoulder straps in which is sewn in aluminum metal bars, which can be bent to fit the shape of your shoulders. So the weight of the saxophone is transferred from the back of your neck to your shoulders through these shoulder straps. Now, this design is not unique. You can actually go online and find several versions of neck straps that have these shoulder straps with aluminum bars sewn into it. But I think that the Belam neck strap looks a little better than some of these others. And it also has some other unique features which I shall talk about later. The Belam neck strap you can actually buy in its classic version or premium version. Or if you go on the Korean website who actually manufacture this product, you can find some other versions there as well. It is hoped that when you buy the Balam neck strap that it actually fits you immediately and therefore you can just start playing with it. But if it doesn't fit you immediately or if you want to adjust it so it fits you better, then the Balam neck strap can be adjusted in four different ways. I would advise you first to take the measurements of the string lengths and the curvature of these shoulder straps before you start making adjustments because the last thing you want to do is start making adjustments and then realize that the adjustments that you made doesn't work out for you and you want to restore it back to its original shape and obviously you can't do that because you haven't taken the measurements. So first make sure you take the measurements of the lengths of the string and the curvature of these shoulder straps so if you need to return it back to its original shape you can actually do that. Adjustment number one. The aluminum bars can be bent to fit the shoulders. You want it to be as close as possible to the back and top of your shoulders. Depending on the type of version of neck strap that you have, there may be a gap in the front in order for the bars to pass over your clavicle. Versions will also vary in size and amount of padding they have. The straps are easy to bend using two hands or bending it over a curved surface like your knee. Adjustment number two. The strings can be adjusted to suit different shoulder widths. If you're going to adjust the strings, it might be a good idea to measure and record the lengths of the strings just in case you want to put the strings back to their original positions. The strings follow an elaborate network in order to lock the strings in place so that they do not move. The lengths of the strings should be the same on the left and right side of the neck strap so that the neck strap is symmetrical and applies even pressure. So when adjusting the strings, you need to make sure that the lengths are even. To adjust the string, simply loosen where the string wraps around the hook and either push or pull the string through the holes at the bottom of the hook. By doing so, you can adjust the angle of the V-shape of the neck strap. By adjusting the string, you can change the angle of the V-shape. Adjustment number three. You can move the middle hooks to the holes above, which will allow the neck strap to lay further back on the shoulders since the string will stop the strap from moving forward. It will also narrow the shoulder width for those that have a smaller physique. Adjustment number four. By tying the knot lower down on the string at the back of the V regulator, you can lengthen the limit range for how far the saxophone hook will drop down. The V regulator is adjusted like any other regular neck strap by pulling it up or pushing it down. You can actually adjust the height at which the saxophone will actually sit. So as you've seen, there are many ways how you can actually customize the Belan neck strap to fit your particular physique. And as I said before, if you take measurements of the lengths of the string and the curvature of the neck straps, then obviously you can return it back to its original position if all of these adjustments don't work out for you. There are some other good features such as a fully closable hook, 
which is easier to attach or take off on the saxophone. So it's unlikely that the saxophone will fall off this type of hook. It also has a rubber base to the hook so that it doesn't damage your saxophone. There is also a locking mechanism. So once you've found the correct length of the strap when connecting it to the saxophone, you can lock it in place so it doesn't move. This is done by moving the locking mechanism up and hooking it in place in the hole at the back of the V regulator. Many people have commented that once the neck strap has been adjusted and it fits them very well, that it is a very good neck strap and it actually relieves the stress on the back of the neck. You can read these comments on many retailer websites. So on the whole, this neck strap is a good neck strap. However, there is one problem that you may find, and I'm not sure exactly why it happens. Maybe it's due to the person's physique, the roundness of their shoulders, or the weight of the saxophone. And that is, for some people, there is a tendency for the neck strap to ride up and move forward when the saxophone is attached. If the neck strap moves forward, then the string at the back will rest against your neck, which will defeat the main purpose of using such a neck strap. This may be a common occurrence for some, since I have seen a reviewer try to explain how to overcome this issue. He stated that if the neck strap rides up, then you should move the middle hooks to the holes above. This will allow the neck strap to lay further back on the shoulders, and then the shoulder straps should be bent to compensate for this. If this was an issue for you, and you was able to stop the neck strap moving forward, then let us know how you did it in the comments below. So in conclusion, if the neck strap fits you well, then you're gonna find that this is a very good neck strap. Not only does it look elegant, but it also does a very good job of removing the pressure of the weight of the saxophone from the back of your neck, transferring it to your shoulders. If you're one of those unfortunate individuals that find as soon as you put your saxophone on the neck strap that the neck strap moves forward, then it's gonna be difficult to overcome this issue by adjustments alone. Hopefully you found this video helpful and informative. If you did, then obviously give it a like and share it with your friends. If you're not yet a subscriber to this channel, then maybe consider subscribing. Thank you for watching and I shall see you in the next video. Bye-bye.